Hi, so me and Mel Carr have been working on this and it's based on this stuff which is the waterproof conductive ink. Now what I've done is I've made up two separate plates and what I did that was a couple of bits of plastic, some strips of tape, put a teaspoon of ink on it and used that and wiped over it a couple of times until I got an even coat and that's called the Dr. Blade method. Now when I got an even coat I let it dry. I let it dry for 24 hours to make sure that it was fully dry. Uh, and then after that, I took a bit of tissue paper and just rubbed it hard with tissue paper and then rubbed it down with a plastic teaspoon to get me my annealed surface. So that's what I did to get these two plates. Now, this is the really interesting bit. I'll connect these up to the multimeter for you. Okay, so that's on the volt reading. It's the AC voltage reading, incidentally, because we're working on the idea that it's an aerial, so we'll get AC voltage. And what I've done is connect one to one plate and the other to other plate. At the moment, the two coated plates are touching each other. If I take those and turn them round so that we've got a dialectic in between them, you can see that we get a voltage reading. Now, that's very cool in itself. So we're getting about 8.1 volts. So now we've got on the AC voltage milliamps and you can see there's nothing happening. But this time we'll turn it round so that the two painted surfaces are, are touching each other. And I touch it, I get 7 microamps out of it. Now that's quite likely to be because I'm acting as an aerial. Now what I have here is uh, a clean earth, or at least as clean as I can get it. It's uh, a piece of wire that's attached to my water pipe and I've got a crocodile clip on it to attach it to one plate. So if I attach that to one plate, that jumps up to 107.107 milliamps. So it's 107 microamps. So that's got 107 microamps across it. That's kind of very cool. So if I flip those over so the two plates aren't touching each other, we've actually now got dialectic in between them, then we get exactly the same thing, 107 microamps. So there you can see it's on the AC voltage reading and it's giving out 101.5 volts. Um, that's just madness really. So you've got a 100 microamps of actual power and we know it's actual power because we've already run a television for some of the structure and we've got 101 volts coming off of there. So the first thing you'd think about if you had readings like that is it's scavenging the house mains. So my new super duper meter has a frequency reading. So I've bunged it on the frequency reading. You can see it there bouncing around between sort of 260 and 290. Now, um, if it was just the house mains, it'd be about 50 hertz. So it's clearly scavenging more than just the house mains. I don't know what else it's collecting. Probably Wi-Fi, probably the house mains, probably cell phone towers, and God knows what else. Look, <laughs> it's really kind of cool. Now, Mo Carr really was talking about this, and he's done some good videos on it, so have a look at his. Um, but I hope that was of interest to you. It's certainly of interest to me. And thank you very much for watching.